think um, the reason they continue to add, which we need and which is going to be a staple of ours, is versatility. Um, obviously, Jared and Caleb both do a very, very high level with the ball in their hands. Uh, both can really shoot it. And then uh, Sean and TJ specifically can play multiple different positions on the court, um, guard different guys, uh, add different things offensively. Um, so those are things that I see tangibly right in front of me. But outside of that, um, the motivation that they have is greater than any freshman class I've been around um, in terms of being hungry and being hardworking. Um, it's very rare that you have a, a whole group of individuals that come in and are in the gym every day at, at 6 a.m. Uh, they want to come in and work. They want to learn. They want to you know, do whatever it takes, which is a big deal. Uh, and especially with so many returners coming back, uh, it's easy to fall into, I think it is personally easy to fall into a narrative or to, you know, fall into a role when you're an incoming freshman and there's, you know, the most returners we've had here in a long time. You have the majority of scoring coming back, the majority of returners, the majority of minutes are coming back. It's easy as an incoming freshman to say, I'm just going to take this year to learn and get better, but I'm going to take a you know, reserve role. And none of those guys have done that, which is awesome. It's what we need. Um, it's only going to make our team that much better. And obviously they're, they're super talented, so they're, you know, they're in their own right fighting for you know, minutes and roles, which is what we need. What does it mean to you to be a captain? It's awesome. Um, it's, uh, it's something I'm really excited about and take a lot of pride in. Uh, I've spoken a lot about it since I got here, and honestly it was one of the first initial conversations um, I had with Coach Shire was you know, about being an older guy in the locker room that could help you know, mold uh, my young teammates into you know, successful student athletes here, both obviously on the court and in games, but off the court as well. So. Uh, something I'm really excited about, something that has had a big impact on me in my career, especially when I was younger. Um, I was fortunate enough to be around older guys in the locker room that were you know, really impressive captains and helped me you know, mold me into who the person and player I am today. Uh, so there's a sense of kind of paying it forward in my mind, but also just having the opportunity to have a positive impact um, on my teammates. Uh, games and lives is, uh, is something I'm super excited about and uh, take a lot of pride in. Are you more of a Drake fan now that you go into the concert? <laughs> I, I was always a huge Drake fan. Um, I'm just uh, yeah, big enough, big enough okay. to be excited about it. Um, yeah, I caught a lot of flack from the from the guys because I'm just not I'm not a huge like dancer either. So it was like there was a group that was really into it and then another group that was just kind of like head bobbing. Um, but it, it was still a really cool experience. Obviously, any time that we can do something like that as a group, uh, especially in the preseason. You're practicing so much, you're doing constantly in here for hours, uh, going against each other and, and competing. It's it's nice to get into a different setting as a, as a group and just kind of relax. And obviously, it's a that's a pretty cool setting to see Drake. Ryan, do you see yourself coaching after your career's over, your playing career's over? Um, I just I see you as a coach ten years down the road. Or... Yeah, I haven't I haven't really. Uh, it's not something that jumps out exactly like something I definitely want to pursue but uh, it's not something I've really ruled out uh, I think I want to try and continue playing giving it a giving it a shot after this year but you know after that it's, it's really uh, I haven't there's nothing that I'm exactly nailed down into so we'll see so what's your role in this team this year yeah I think um, it'll be you know for the most part similar to the role I had last year uh, in my mind that's doing whatever it takes to help the team win uh, last year was uh, it was you know somewhat of a be out there and make the right play make the hustle play be be a clue guy out there for our team and you know there was games where I was scoring more than others or expected to, to post up and try and facilitate more um, so the biggest thing for me is just getting out there and doing what coach Shire needs from me and what my teammates need from me uh, to give us a, the best shot of winning have you guys had captains meetings yet what was that is that like a somewhat a yeah guessing? not I mean they're not as as formal yeah. as, uh, as you know, maybe some programs do it, but uh, you know, we have a group chat and then meet with Coach Shire pretty regularly about just uh, you know, kind of where, where the team's at, what he wants to see from us moving forward, um, you know, and just feedback going both back and forth from both sides. Uh, because Coach Shire is huge on that, and uh, I think it's, it's great that there's such an open line of communication uh, between players and coaches and uh, captains. And, guys and all that what's your leadership like style like and how does that mesh with the other guys or captain yeah I think um, for the most part uh, leadership style for me is trying 
to um, offer the best type of criticism I can with uh, an open mind. And for me, I think the way that criticism is received, not even criticism, but any type of leadership, any type of words being said, uh, I think a lot of a lot of whether or not that's received the right way occurs before uh, and the level of trust and respect you have with either a teammate or a coach or a younger teammate. Um, so I think the biggest thing for me is is making sure that uh, these relationships that I've built with teammates um, and anybody in the program is to that to the manner that they know that I view them as uh, you know a, a respected person before anything else, um, and you know they feel that they can trust me and that you know whatever I say to a teammate as a captain is coming from a place that you know I believe in them and I want what I'm you know. I hope that they trust that what I'm saying uh, is for the end goal to help our team be better and reach the success that we want to. So when I think about leadership style, it really comes down to everything you do before any type of leadership or criticism or, or you know, motivation is given. Uh, I think a lot of that occurs before you know, uh, establishing those relationships uh, based in trust and, and respect and all that. Ryan, you've been around college.